So as you're doing your online arbitrage, you are primarily going to be searching through the internet. And you may, when you go through the Facebook groups or read through any of the books or see some of my videos, what you'll notice is that there are some extensions that I use, such as Price Blank, the Keepa Graphs, the Tractor, the Camelizer, that seem to just pop up in my web browser. That is because I use the web browser Chrome. Chrome is a web browser that is provided by, the, or by Google, and it is personally the one that I use almost every day. It integrates in great with uh, Gmail, YouTube, Google+, but it also has a catalog of extensions that can be used to help your online sourcing and help you actually find good deals if you're actually buying things for yourselves on Amazon. So what this video is, it's going to show you how to get that Chrome browser installed and it's also going to show you the, the plugins that you'll want to install. In a later few videos I'll be showing you how to use those plugins to find good deals on products or to find new replenishables or good deals or to confirm that your deal is actually worth purchasing. So if you do not have Chrome, um, Chrome kind of looks like a little Pokemon ball um, in, in your uh, toolbar or dock, whatever it looks like. Um, I don't have, we'll, we'll go over here to the Chrome browser. Um, if you do not have it, all you need to do is search Chrome browser in any of your browsers and it'll pull it up. Um, and what you'll need to do is you'll need to download and install this. So it's going to flip around. This is the little Pokeball that I'm talking about. But all you would need to do is hit download, pick what you have. I'm on a Mac, so it's going to be there. And you're just going to put it in. And it's going to, be, it's going to work a lot like your browser as Safari, Internet Explorer, Firefox, or any of the other browsers that you use. Um, personally, after using Chrome, I really love their auto save password feature, their auto fill up top, their great integration with all of my other stuff, and the extensions. So what you do, download, pick your operating device, download it for that, and then once you're installed, get to know it, play around with it for a little bit, run some searches, see that it can bookmark things for you. Um, it's, it's your typical web browser. But the next thing you'll want to do is go to Google and type Chrome extensions. So you'll see I've already searched this here, and it's going to pop up. So I'm going to click that, and what it's going to do is it's going to give me chrome.google.com, backslash web store, backslash category, backslash extensions. If I tried to make you write that, you'd be crazy. Just search Chrome extensions and it'll pull it up. Once you click Chrome extensions, it's going to look a lot like an Android Marketplace or a um, App Store, but really what you're going to be searching for is a select few apps. So I'm going to put in Keepa. Keepa is one that I really like to use. So you're going to see that it's added. Um, I had I actually tried to uninstall this to show you how to do it in the video, but I'm going to it, what you'll do is you'll click on the app, and then you will add it to Chrome. So for instance, if I was doing Google Keep, I'd click it, hit free, it would check it for me, and then I would click add. It would download it, and it's going to put it in my um, where I'm managing everything at. So. What, what you'll do is you'll go through and you'll install the ones such as Keepa, K-E-E-P-A, which is the price tracker right here. This will allow you to see those charts that pop up on um, when I look at Amazon that show the price history and when Amazon is out of stock. There'll be another video going through how to use this. You'll want to search FBA Calculator. The calculator widget, you'll want to install that one. You can see that uninstall worked for me. So it's going to be there. And you'll see, notice it pops right up here. This one is going to allow me to have an Amazon product page pulled up. I click this, and it'll actually calculate how much profit can be made from selling a certain product. So that is a good one to have. You'll want to search camel, camel, camel for your next one. And what we're looking for here is we are looking for the Camelizer. There are a lot of other ones and you can play around. I'm showing you the ones that I enjoy to use. So if there's other ones that you like, feel free to use those. Um, you'll notice the Camelizer, when I go to an Amazon page here, will actually pop up in the web browser right by next to the star. 
So then we want to do the tractor, right like this. And you'll see here is a link for it. I just simply click free, add. And you'll notice these are all free extensions. So you can actually go in and use these for free and have a lot of information at your disposal. So it says it's been added to Chrome. This one will show up in the Amazon product page right above the Keepa graph, just so you know. Um, and then the uh, last one I want to install is Price Blank. And it's right here. And what this one does is it pulls up a bar every time you're on a page that has a product and shows you what the prices are for other competitors online. This works for a lot of the products, not every single one of them. So I'm just going to install it, add. It's going to say, you've been added. Um, and I'll show you how this works in another video. Um, if other people do use the invisible hand, which is just is a lot like um, price blank, but it is just a little bit different. They have a different operating system behind it, but it basically does the same thing. Um, and then Shop Genius is another one that you can use if you would so choose that allows you to see the prices on other places. Um, recommendations, I personally just like using one and searching out from that, um, but a lot of other people will recommend that you do two or three so that you get all of them. Um, that is not a bad idea. I have tried that. I get kind of annoyed by all the different things popping up. So I like to use one and then I use the, like to use contact search, contact search over here. So you'll want to search that. And it is the contact menu search. What this does is, um, I'll install it real quick. When I hi highlight something, it'll allow me to right click and automatically search that in Google, eBay, Amazon, or any of the other services that they provide. So now that that is all installed, you'll notice that price blank is up top, FBA calculators there. You don't see Keepa, you don't see the price blank bar I was talking about, you don't see the tractor, nor do you see context search. That is because these are integrated into Chrome. So they only work when you go to a page, say, Amazon. And let's search We're going to do Frozen on a Dolls. Um, sold a lot of Frozen when it was big, um, but for instance, we're just going to click here. Anna is going for $25 currently. I also can find out that on Rakuten, she's selling $14.99 plus shipping. Shop.com. Um, I will go through a whole thing on how you use this, but you can scroll down through and see total price or price plus shipping. And this will give you a really good view of where you could source online to find big deals. If you scroll down here, here's the tractor. You'll see that the price has bounced up. It gives us the information we need. If you look at the six month view and your view, you'll notice that it spikes and we're on an upward trend right now according to this. Keepa is right down here. I personally think Keepa's got some of the best information on there, but that's just me. Um, it shows anytime, let's get up to a week view here. Anytime Amazon goes out of stock, you'll see that there's no orange. Amazon's represented by orange. So anytime you see orange and blue, it means Amazon's in stock at that price. You'll see when it bounces up that this is an out of stock price that is offered new by an, a seller. Doesn't necessarily have to be an FBA seller, but it has to be a seller. So those are where you see that item is at. You also see that you can track your item here with Tractor and track your item here with Keepa. Just two things that I'll show you how to do in another video. Now, if I were to click my little calculator, it's going to pull up a revenue calculation thing that's automatically going to fill in the information from this. So if I sold it at the low buy box price of $25, I could make $18.62. So now, if I were to look back here and see that if I could get free shipping from Rakuten, I could make three bucks. Um, and this is, has a pretty, really good sales rank, since, especially since Christmas is coming, down to 47. So it's a way you can find quick deals or do a little bit of research from there. So the other one that you'll find is your Camelizer, which is right here. And all you have to do is click on it on an Amazon product page. It will show you price history right here, just much like the other Keepa and Tractor does, or do, but what I use this for is the view product on camel, or three camels thing.
So it takes me straight to the Camel 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 page, and this information looks pretty similar to what we were looking at before, but it doesn't distinguish from between when Amazon is in and out of stock. The reason I use this is the sales rank feature. It allows me to look at a three month range and see where the sales rank falls at any given time. So I can get a really, really good look at a lot of the data that I need to make an educated decision. Um, when it comes to online sourcing, there's a, an immense amount of data out there. And if you can understand how to use it and read it, you can actually make a lot of money very quickly and not eliminate your risk, but really diminish any risk that you'll have. The last one I want to show you is the contextual search. So all I need to do is select something, right click, and the context search button is up. Um, you'll need to set this in options um, and it'll allow you, and we'll show you that in another video, to select Amazon, Google, eBay. But all you'll do is I'll say I want to look that up on Bing. I'll click it and it's going to automatically throw it into the search bar and start searching for you. So that is how I use these logins um, or these extensions through Chrome. Um, if you ever want to get rid of them, all you ever have to do is go to settings of your Chrome browser, click extensions, and it'll allow you to enable them, uh, disable them, allow them in your incognito mode, which is kind of like a private browser if you didn't want your history tracked or your IP address, um, or you can even delete them. So you'll see these are all on here along with some other ones that I use for other items but there is a quick link to the extension store here if you ever want to purchase more. But that's how you install all of these extensions and what they can really do is provide you that information that can really help making a buying decision a really, really easy one. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below on this video or on my blog, fbamaster.com or you can hop onto Facebook, find me. My name's Chris Wilkie. I'll be happy to answer any of the questions you have. My job is to help you learn how to source online and to sell FBA, even if it's sourcing from retail, wholesale, liquidation, whatever. Um, I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it to help you because I wish someone would have been able to help me during the time that I was getting started.